Hey everyone, it's Dr. Romany. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism. So here's my question. Have you dropped this answer in the comments? I want you to think about, because there's a lot of answers to this. I'm going to focus on one today, but I want you to think about what is one particularly icky thing that happens when you let a narcissistic person back into your life. So let's assume you've asked them to leave or you ended the relationship or the friendship or whatever. What's the particularly icky thing that happens when you let them back into your life? Drop it in the comments. So this is, you know, listen, this is a tricky one because when you let them back in after, let's say they've betrayed you, right? So what's the icky thing that happens when you let them back in after they betray you? Many people do, right? I mean, it's not like, oh, you betrayed me once. Most people will let the person back into their life in a big way or a small way. So let me break this down for you. A narcissistic person betrays your trust. Maybe they cheat on you. Maybe they take money from you that you need and they don't give it back. Maybe they share a secret you told them in confidence with someone. It may even be as severe as them pushing you or throwing something at you. Whatever it is, you decide, I am done. And you end the relationship. I would say for a lot of you listening to this, the, the example of cheating or infidelity is probably the one that makes the most sense. But who knows? They say something terrible at your kids. Whatever it is, you're like, I'm done. You're disgusted not only by the relationship and the years of manipulation and gaslighting, but then you decide you have had it and you end it. And in the rage of the betrayal, you're like, I'm done. Finally, I'm done. And it feels good for a while because you feel like you got your voice and your power back and it also feels bad. You're hurt by the betrayal. You're tired of their behavior. You may feel strong that you took a stance, maybe even relieved. You feel grief. You feel confused. You wonder if you did the right thing. You know you did the right thing. Maybe they try to hoover you or tell how other people, they talk to other people and triangulate and other people come around and say, oh, give them another chance or reconsider or why don't you forgive them? For some of you, you slowly start to change your mind. The initial anger fades as it does. You may miss your partner. You may miss your routine. You may miss your family or the friends. You may be tired about being angry all the time. You may want your life back. So you take them back. Now, at first, they may be grateful. They may even start a love bomb part du, right? You may feel like, oh, okay, all right. Maybe this was a jump start. Maybe I scared it all out of them. This is a recalibration. You may even feel a little emboldened by the power you feel in the relationship now because they seem like they're a little guilty about what they did and it seems like they're being more nice than usual. You kind of like the shift in power. More time goes by. You are relieved to have your routine back and even better, your routine back and the narcissistic person is being a bit nicer. As you know, more time will go by. The red flags and the old behavior will start popping up again. But then this other thing will happen. You ready? They will minimize their betrayal. They'll minimize what they did to you. I can almost guarantee that this will happen. After you let them back in, because they want back in, after that initial honeymoon period passes, even if they'd originally said sorry, they will start playing down their betrayal. Things like, okay, really? We're going to keep talking about this? Come on, it was one night. You're making too big a deal out of it. Stop being so dramatic. Or they might say, I put most of the damn money back. Stop being uptight, okay? Let it go. Or, I said I was going to pay you back. Stop being such a drama queen about your debt. I am tired of hearing about it. Okay, so I told them some of what you told me. Stop thinking that you're so important that anyone really cares. Or they'd say, the damned phone didn't even hit you. Or I pushed you so lightly that you could barely feel it. Stop exaggerating. They may tell you that you were too sensitive, making too big a deal of stuff. They tell you to let it go. For many survivors at this stage, they're not even sure what's worse. Experiencing the initial betrayal 
or having it minimized after bringing the narcissistic person back into your life. The thing that happened to you, the event, it was real. Ending the relationship for however long you ended it was a response to that and probably a lot more than just that one betrayal, but that might be the straw that broke the camel's back. So when you tried to make it work again, it was a leap of faith for you to let them back in your life and a gift to them. Initially, they may have been effusively thanking you. Oh, thank you for taking me back. I'm so sorry. Oh, you know, whatever they say. But what then? Why would they minimize your pain? Because narcissistic people are not psychopaths. Remember that there's a difference. Actually, narcissistic people know good and bad, and they know it's not a good look to cheat or lie or grift or physically aggress or verbally aggress. They do it. They still do it because they're dysregulated, but they know it's not good. Not so much because it hurts you, but because it reflects badly on them. It makes that unconscious shame we observe in narcissism conscious, and they do not like that. So when you take them back, they would like to erase and forget the whole ugly incident. So your ongoing pain, it brings up their shame. So they want to shut that down. So they shame you instead. Oh, stop crying. It wasn't that bad. This is a form of gaslighting. Your pain being negated and you being painted as sensitive or fragile. It can really test reality, test your reality. You took them back. And now you are at back at square one with them, with them making light of something that hurt you. Many people hope that the narcissistic person learned a big lesson and that this may change the course of the relationship. Probably not. These patterns don't really shift. There is no great new love story that comes in the wake of the infidelity. Usually it's just minimizing. They just want you to come back and have you forget the whole thing. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. But you got to be prepared for when this happens. And when it does, file it under gaslighting. Yes, being betrayed and having your trust ruptured is a real wound. They're trying to minimize it to help themselves feel better doesn't make it less so. And when they do this, it can feel like a new betrayal on top of the old one. Thanks again.